to do You've already said we are through I'm a page that you have turned I'm no longer your concern So don't tell me what to do I love you forever if Basically I'm going to talk about my personal impression of what I think about having to lead this province. From um, my perspective, I've lived here probably, what, 30, 30 years now, off and on. And I've been, I traveled away and I found work. But basically, it's, it's in a city. And you have crowds of people passing back and forth with no smiles on their face. Like, you know, you, you meet people one day, but can you say hello to them the next day? Will they, will they be there again? So, uh, but I like the community atmosphere. I like passing people that I see every day and saying hi, right? Uh, basically, I hate to see this discontinued, but if the way things are going, people are gonna have to leave the province. They're gonna have to pack up their things and move away. Uh, I was hoping, like through projects like the community forum, that we could develop a, a more of a community spirit, something that we can develop together, bring mainland, Lords, and Black to Brook together, Triar Cove also, and develop ways, develop ways to uh, combine our ideas and our talents and possibly make a future so we can stay on the island. C'est vraiment très important pour les communautés, pour survivre dans aujourd'hui, euh, surtout avec la situation économique. Les, les résidents dans, dans les communautés euh, pourraient se faire trouver dans une situation où il, il n'a pas de choix de déménager de la communauté à cause de la situation économique. Mais je pense qu'avec cette euh, initiative de communiquer pour survivre, on pourrait voir, ça nous donne l'occasion de voir les, les conditions, les situations des autres communautés. Euh, par exemple, de la Grande Terre, Cap Saint-Georges, Burjo et Ramea. Comment est-ce que ces communautés ont survécu jusqu'à date? Et comment est-ce qu'il qu fait, est qu fait pour survivre, comment est-ce qu'il fait pour se développer économique? Euh, je pense que c'est très important qu'on qu puisse suivre cette route-là, puis euh, voir le, la manière qu'ils se sont réussis, qu'ils ont réussi jusqu'à date, comme j'ai dit.
birds and robins, their sweet notes entwined. Most of the communities along the southwest coast of Newfoundland have been affected by the downturn in the fishery, and Burgio is no exception. In April of 1992, the sea freeze plant here in Burgio closed and it hasn't opened since. The people in Burgio currently are surviving under the TAGS program, which is scheduled to last for another couple of years, but no one knows what's going to happen then. Burgio Broadcasting System, Burgio's community owned and operated cable station, decided it was time that they got involved. As program director for BBS, I interviewed the owner of the plant, the local union executive, the plant manager, town mayor, and a number of employees. We put all these facts together and put them in a straightforward package for the people of Burgio to watch and decide for themselves what they thought. A week following the airing of this documentary, the local union executive stepped aside, a new executive was put in place, and since that time they've met with Mr. Barry, the owner of the plant, on a number of occasions, and proposals are currently before government. Recently, Burgio Broadcasting System learned through a leaked document that there were plans to close the local hospital. We immediately teamed up with the Communication for Survival group and put off a three and a half hour live phone in panel discussion about the future of health care in the area. The proposal to close our hospital has since been withdrawn. <laughs> The collapse of Canada's East Coast fishery in the 1980s and the inevitable decision to administer a moratorium in the early 90s has meant not only economic ruin for our province, but a threat to a people's way of life. The south coast of this province has had the highest dependence on the fishery in Atlantic Canada. Now its people have nowhere else to turn. Farming does not exist. Mining has only ever been a nominal industry in a few towns, and forestry has never been an alternative. My hometown of Ramya is an historic community going back to the 18th century and before. Our way of life is now under the most severe pressure. This community was created because of work in the fishery. Now there is no fishery. Our population of barely more than 1,000 is made up of many who resettled there from even smaller outports a generation ago. Now the fish plants are closed and the boats tied up and their old society is once again at stake. I am one of a number of people who have decided to say no to government's desire that we go away. This is our home. This is where we belong. This is where we will remain. Our town recently purchased the large fish plant on the waterfront that was abandoned by its owner when times got rough. Our people have banded together to fight adversity. With strong communications amongst ourselves and constant dialogue with others, we will wither the stormy waters that surround us and prosper once again. We will never give up because we have nowhere else to go. We are home.